Hello, I'm Jim O'Neill. I'm the Deputy Secretary of Health and Human Services and the Acting Director of CDC. Today, I want to update you on two dangerous viral hemorrhagic fever outbreaks CDC has been fighting in Africa. In September, health officials in the Democratic Republic of the Congo noticed a cluster of unexplained deaths in Kasai province. They sent samples to Kinshasa and quickly confirmed an Ebola outbreak. Ebola can have a case fatality rate of 90%. CDC epidemiologists rapidly mobilized to provide disease detection, laboratory testing, vaccination, infection control, logistics, and global health security. Later that month, I had a bilateral meeting with DRC Health Minister Roger Kamba to escalate our coordination. More than 100 CDC staff assisted in the response. With our help, local officials quickly identified cases, isolated and supported patients, and acted to prevent further spread of disease. Just this week, the health ministry declared the end of the outbreak. CDC will continue supporting the DRC as it strengthens long-term preparedness and surveillance in the region. Our success was built on the decades-long partnership between the U.S. government and the DRC. Our coordinated efforts stopped the outbreak before it could spread further. We saved lives. Rapid response remains our best defense against disease outbreaks. At the same time, we're assisting Ethiopia in responding to an outbreak of Marburg virus disease. While case numbers remain limited, the virus is serious and we are acting early. CDC experts are supporting laboratories, strengthening treatment centers, providing technical guidance, and working with partners to improve community engagement, surveillance, and safe care for patients and healthcare workers. Our team will help end the threat swiftly. These outbreaks remind us that infectious disease anywhere can pose risks everywhere. But they also show what's possible when a focused and efficient CDC deploys rigorous science to protect lives. I am elevating and enhancing CDC's response capabilities even further. Under Secretary Kennedy's leadership, CDC will continue to support our partners around the world and will safeguard the health and security of the American people here at home. Thank you. Produced by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services.